Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to our very first video this year, 2021. And it's all about fixing one of my laptop that was working last year, that was December, 2020. And when I opened it yesterday, it was showing no boot device, press any key to continue. There are a number of reasons why your laptop might be going through this error. This solution might work for you. So I wanna share it with you so that you can fix your own laptop if you run into these issues. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So when I open my laptop, try to press the power button and you will have this no boot found, I mean no boot device found, press any key to continue. Now the first thing we need to do here is jump into the BIOS configuration and check what are the configs right there we might change. So I'm just going to press any key so it's going to restart. Now while this is restarting, you need to know the BIOS shortcut key of your laptop so that you're going to press this one while your laptop is rebooting or restarting. Now I'll place a link on the description below so that you will have a list of those because BIOS shortcut key is different from different brands. Now for this Dell laptop, it is F2. For other laptops, I can say it's F1 or F12. So I'm going to press that one while it's booting up and then you can see that it's going to jump into the BIOS configuration mode. Now for different laptops again, the BIOS config interface is different from each brand and each version of laptop. So if you are using Dell, it might look like this, but not all of it. So the second target that we need to check is the boot sequence or the boot order. That's what we're going to check. So you can see it here, you will have the boot sequence or some laptops, we call it as boot order. Now on the um, right side panel right here, on the other side, you can see that there are listed devices that the computer can boot from. Now all of it is checked, so I need to remove some of these like the diskette or things that are not usable for this laptop, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. At the same time, we need to put the order of the boot sequence that the hard drive where the OS, the operating system is located should be the first, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Rather, disable the other devices where it's going to boot. Now this config, if you are using for legacy mode. Now my laptop supports both legacy and UEFI. So if I'm using UEFI, then it's going to filter out all those boot devices that has UEFI. And I'm going to do that one, I'm going to enable UEFI and it's going to filter out the hard drive that has that boot menu or I mean boot um, file. And I'm going to save that one and I will restart this one and it should boot up right away into the operating system. Now look here, once we did that, here we go, it's booting up. There you go, Dell. And notice this is not going to show us the error, it's going through Dell and you can see that loading button of Windows 10, okay? And then there you go, my laptop booted up into this mode. I hope this is going to help you go through this uh, issue so that you can fix your own problems. Now, if it's your first time here on my YouTube channel, we're going to make more videos this year, 2021. Help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribers. See you in my next video.